what's up youtube welcome renegade if you're tuning in make sure to subscribe and like this video it is really appreciated man it been three to four weeks i took a break uh just you know taking a break uh planning this stuff um but i'm gonna come back and start rolling uh like i said i gotta repaint these pieces and stuff i had to use some um uh, some paint that you can uh, take off um, from AutoZone just to get the gist of it. But I'm thinking about with the lime green theme or some other colors, so stay tuned for that. Um, but today's objective, I uh, just want to remove this radiator. Um, plan on probably putting a screen over it. Um, I had uh, got <clears throat> some uh, opinions about it. Um, People use uh, like some mesh screen, like the, I guess, keep dirt off the coral up so it can be easier to wash off and all that. Um, I was thinking about getting a radiator uh, relocate uh, kit, which I'm planning on, s I don't know. But anyway, let's just uh, do what we gotta do. Uh, and then we just go down the road with uh, doing that little uh, touch ups on the Renegade. But I want to get uh, this out. So I believe the first thing I'm about to take off is this bad boy right here. I'm going to take off these two bolts right here. And then I need to remove all this stuff. So let's get to it. Bolts out, so let's get in action. So guys, uh, I had to take out these two bolts right here, which is a 13. Uh, the nut stays in place on the backside, which uh, uh, which kind of surprised me. Uh, I did had, uh, I believe the 9 16 uh, on the backside of it, but I don't think I have to. Uh, seem like this side coming loose right here. <clears throat> Let me see if I can uh, use my finger. Yes, yeah, coming. Yeah, coming. I get back with y'all. We're gonna have a piece out. So before, and then we're gonna do it after. take my idea but can you imagine if this was like a bumper in the back like and then you just have like your one is off there or out there that'd be like pretty damn sick so I removed like the front guard and I placed it on the back that would be a pretty cool rack or something as you can see 
Like, you can't tell me that wouldn't be a sick rat. Like, you just can't tell me. And they have, like, extra, like, tubulars. I don't know. It would be sick. So, what's up? Welcome to a new day. Today is Saturday, July 2nd. So, other clips was like past days ago, we don't remember. But today, man, we're going to get this radiator out and end up cleaning it and probably uh, try to figure out um, how to put a screen in front. Because I was was going to go with a rad kit, but I'm going to run it like this for a little bit and then I'm going to uh, end up upgrading this stuff. Um, and all, and I just want to keep the same stock look and stuff, which is not wrong with that. But uh, we got these uh, two 10 millimeter bolts that we need to take out, which is here and there. And I need to remove this hose right here and the top one, which might be a B, which is right there. And then we're gonna drain the fluid out. So I gotta find me a bucket. So I, just, I have bought, just bought this kit, which was like 31 bucks. I always end up buying like socket sets, now you know, losing them, but I end up finding them later. And of course, we got a channel lock so we can uh, squeeze this clip and drain this fluid out. So let's get it, y'all. Let's get it. to do i don't know if you can see it it felt not bad for the angle right now can't even see it but it's behind that light i don't know that little boat right there i think that's a seven or eight i'm not sure but we gotta take that off and we gotta loosen that so let's get to it all right so i got the hold the top holes coming off I thought it was gonna be hard, but it was pretty easy. It just uh, end up coming out of place uh, quick. Now using the socket, I always place it back. I tend to forget uh, to put stuff back sometimes. So make sure you put it back so you can always be organized. Being organized is a key factor so you don't have to be scrambling for tools and stuff and all that. But right now I'm gonna use a 10 millimeter uh, to get them two bolts out. Um, so let's get to it. I have an open there, uh, ranch on the back side of holding nut on uh, to get the boat out. Uh, the other ones I ain't had to do uh, for the bumper piece, the guard piece, I ain't had to do that. But for this, I gotta have something on the back side to hold that boat. So, so let's get guys, it. I've been struggling to get this uh, right side boat out because I don't have like no uh, 10 millimeter. Uh, uh open air wrench as you see i got a whole bunch here in my bag and then all over there which i gotta organize and stuff but man i finally got the radiator off i unplugged it and i had to kind of pull it up uh uh to get out these uh i guess these little dowels not dowels but uh studs or whatever i just had to pull it up and then uh pull it out but i'm gonna get it out right now but man, I can just, by looking at it being filthy and stuff, I don't know if you can really see it. But let, man, let me take it out and we can uh, further inspect it. Let's yeah, go. Man, she is caked in mud. Even I thought I washed it good, like you gonna have to take the whole thing just to wash it out. Um, but man, she caked. Uh, what I'm end up doing, I'm thinking about putting like a screen like over here. That's what I'm thinking, but I might do some research and all that. Um, I did got some input from uh, Facebook off the Can Am uh, and Outlander group. Um, got some pen about uh, having a screen or going with the Rad Reload Kit Kit, which I was uh, walking towards. But I said, like I said, like I just said, let me uh, keep the start loop. So I'm about to just, I guess, clean this coil off, man. Let's go from there.
side of the fan where you really can't get to. What I'm gonna do, I'm probably gonna put some cold clean on here, soak it down real good, and just go from there. Finally finna clean it, it's the afternoon. I got my hose together and then I got some cold cleaner that you can use for ACs. Just a little bit, not too much. We're gonna do a 50-50 split uh, with this and we're gonna spray her down. Well, first I'm gonna rinse, the, rinse it off and I'm gonna spray her down. Let's get to it. Now. So guys, use light water when you're washing the radiator. Do not use a uh, high pressure stuff because it can damage the fins, uh, which could prevent airflow coming across uh, the radiator to uh, cool that coolant. But um, that's what I'm doing right now using light shower. This is a pro tip. Back side with the front side caked up as you can see so i'm gonna let it sit for a little few do the same thing to the other side clean it up and put this radiator in a safe place because we're waiting for a um radiator or a mud guard uh, to place on here instead of going with the rad relocate kit we going with uh that little um guard piece so we can keep the original look on this renegade and stuff but like i said i love the stock look on it and stuff Nothing wrong putting like extra little stuff on it and stuff. Everybody got their own uh, little taste and all that. But me, I just want to keep it stock uh, looking and stuff and just go from there. I know the RAD uh, Relocate uh, kit got huge benefits and stuff. It's uh, the radiator is more accessible to clean. And I mean, it's, it look good too. I mean, it's. You could ride longer and stuff, I'm pretty sure, and all that, instead of having to stop or having to drench uh, the four wheel in the ponds to uh, cool it down and stuff. You gonna have like less mud and stuff, I believe, on there. But I really don't know. But we're gonna see what this $64 piece gonna do. Because I just ordered it uh, like a few hours back and see what it do compared to like a $500 uh, piece. So let's go to it so guys we got the radiator this is the after effects a little better than what it was before but man i can't wait to get uh that mud guard piece and i can't wait to put this back in uh i guess in y'all comments, give me what coolant I should run. I've been running the pre-stone orange coolant that's safe for aluminum uh, engine. So I've been using that. Uh, I know you can use cool ice or whatever, but please let me know what y'all be using. Uh, that would be it for today's video. Uh, I'm gonna have another video on a Renegade doing a deep clean and stuff. So I'll stay tuned for that. Let's go, peace out.